Shawnee Curry St. Ville, your favorite personal finance expert. At the end of this episode, I have one goal, and that one goal is for you to identify at least one thing to put in your financial purse that will help you put some more money in it. Alrighty, so because it is the holidays and I know that you're going to be doing some spending and I'm not going to stop you from doing that spending, but I want you to do it wisely. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing five financial gifts that you can give to your family and friends. Alrighty, um, since you're here and uh, I want you to have some fun, I got some money for you. Some of you have been saying, Shawnee, we didn't get our money, but I want to make sure, especially since it's the holidays, that you get some money. Are you ready? Let's open up your spiritual purse, your actual purse, your cyber purse, your auntie's purse, your Christmas savings account, because I'm going to give you some money. Are you ready? And since it's the holidays, I'm going to have to extend that. So you can imagine. That's like exponential spiritual money coming your way that I hope that you receive to be with you during this season of giving. I hope that you receive a whole lot aside from receiving these five tips, okay? So five financial gifts that you can give to your friends this holiday season. Gift number one is you can pay one of their bills. That's right. Who would have thunk it? The gift that keeps on giving. You got it. Pay one of their bills. Instead of buying them another purse, another pair of shoes, another outfit to go with the outfit that they got last year, another hat, another watch, another thigamajig, right? Pay one of their bills, okay? Pay their phone bill for them. Pay their car note for them. Pay their water bill. Pay something that is going to have a impact on their finances, okay? So think of a bill, someone, maybe it may be someone that may be in financial distress and this could really, really take a load off of their purse or maybe it's not. I mean, who doesn't wanna necessarily just have something paid for them and they don't even have to think about it? So that would be a great gift. Pay someone's bill, all right? That's tip number one. Tip number two, give them a financial book. Right, and I actually have one. You don't have to use this one, but this one is definitely a great one. I actually recommend this one, 10 Things Every Woman Should Keep in Her Purse. You can get it on PurseEmpowerment.com. But if you don't necessarily wanna get this financial book, get a financial book because we all know the difference between where we are and where we want to be is information, right? So get them some financial information where they can begin to build and build and build in the area of money and the area of money mentality, okay? And number three, you can go ahead and open up a savings account for them, right? For one of your shopaholic friends, they are a money monster. They go in the store and everybody knows their name, right? They feel like they are cheers, right? Right, you wanna get that person a savings account, right? You're gonna say, on you're gonna give them a little card with a little note, hey girl, hey guy, I really, really love you. Here's something that I'm doing for you on December the 27th, we're gonna go to the bank and we're gonna go ahead and open up a savings account for you. That would be an awesome gift. That's a great financial gift. And for those of your friends that are already super savers, this might be the opportunity for you to go ahead and buy them some stock. We're talking about gifts that's gonna have an everlasting impact long after the tis the season and fa la 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 are gone. All right, and then tip number four, you're going to send them to a wealth event, right? You can send them to a wealth event, you can get them an online course about money. That way, let's say you already know a whole lot about saving and you're trying to figure out how can I get into investments? You go ahead and start looking around for an event that they can go ahead and attend so they can get that information. Let's say you're dealing with someone that has a whole lot of credit card debt. You want to go ahead and send them to an event where they can go and experience that. Let's not just give gifts, but let's give some gifts that it's going to help people put some money in their purse and has a lot of meaning. And tip number five you're going to make a declaration. That is a great gift that you can give. It's called the debt declaration. It's something that you can share if you're in a marriage. It's something you can share with your parents. It's something you can share with your friends. And it's definitely something you can share with your family. Here's how the different debt declaration sounds. It means just because you love me, I am not going to require you to show that love to me for you to get inside of debt. If you can afford it, go ahead and ball out. But if you cannot afford it, go ahead and avoid it. And guess what? I'm going to love you just the same. I'm Shawnee Curry St. Ville. This is Purse Empowerment TV. I have just shared with you five financial gifts that you can give to your friends. Now, if you really, really like this video, I need you to do me a favor 
and yourself a favor and go ahead and share it. If you have more questions or you have more suggestions, you can send me an email on personpowerment.com or you can drop it inside of the comments. I am looking forward to this connection. I hope that you feel a whole lot richer. Thank you.